One of the more difficult uh, concepts to understand in AC circuits is what is the phase delay of the current relative to the voltage. And I thought we'd spend just a little bit of time talking about what is phase delay. Phase delay is a shift in the current relative to the voltage. The current's going to have some form like I t is equal to I naught sine omega t minus phi. The current amplitude, I naught, may be large or small due to power losses or gains in the circuit. That's one of the things that we'll be calculating. But it also may be out of sync with the voltage, and that's what the phase delay is supposed to tell us. When phi is zero, that means that I and the voltage are in time with one another, because I is going to have a form sine omega t. But when phi is greater than zero, that means I is going to be lagging behind. In other words, it's going to take a while for it to come up to speed when the voltage has already made a swing. When phi is less than zero, I is actually out ahead of the voltage. It leads the voltage. If the graph of voltage versus time looks like the, uh, a sinusoid, it's blue, the blue curve right here, then the graph of current versus time looks like this curve, the green dash curve, if the, in the case when phi is zero. There's no phase delay. But what happens when phi is not zero? That's what the phase delay is supposed to tell us. What we look at then is something like the red curve. This is a, a, a curve when phi is equal to pi over 2. Pi over 2 is a quarter of 2 pi, and I've shown something that's shifted by a quarter of a period. On the other hand, you could have situations where phi is a negative number, and that means that it will be out ahead. So the current versus time is going to look something like this. It's a sinusoid, and it's going to be oscillating up and down over time. It has a period, and we call that capital T. That's the time for one full swing. The, vo the voltage is always going to have this functional form. V of T is V naught sine omega T. That we're just going to start with that as always our starting principle. But then we take uh, some consideration of what happens to the current. I of T equals I naught sine omega T uh, is what the curve would look like if the current was zero when T equals zero. But in AC circuits, we might have this phase shift. The bigger the value of phi, the more it shifts this sine wave to the right. And how do you see this intuitively? Well, if I of t when, with no phase delay has i equals 0 and t equals 0, then we think about the argument of the sine function and where is it equal to 0, because that's when the sine will equal 0. Here's some examples. If phi is pi over 2, that means that you get the argument to the sine function to be 0 when omega t minus phi is 0, or omega t is pi over 2. Or that happens when the time t is pi over 2 omega, or with, remember what omega is, it's 2 pi times the frequency. That means you get it at a time t equals period over 4. So that's what, that's what it takes to get the, the sine function equal to be 0. You have to go over here to a period of 1 quarter, a time of 1 period over 4. And so that's why we say it's shifted over to the right. When phi equals pi, that means you get the argument to the sine function equal to zero when omega times time equals pi, or time equals pi over the omega, or t equals half of a period. When phi equals three pi over two, then you don't get the sine argument of the sine function to be zero, like where that purple curve is crossing the origin right there, fully out until uh, the time is, th is three quarters of a period. And if 2 pi is your phase shift, then you get the argument to the sine function to be um, 0 when omega t equals 2 pi, or uh, the time t equals 1 full period. So that's graphically what we're seeing here, is the, or the 0 of this sine wave gets shifted over and further over and further over and further over the larger that this angle phi is. It's either a quarter of a period, a half period, three quarters of a period, or a full period in the various examples I've given here. But always, these fractions by which the uh, sine wave is shifted over is equivalent to a period. Uh, that amount that's shifted over is a fraction of a period by the same fraction as the phase shift is a fraction of 2 pi. In other words, pi over 2 is a quarter of 2 pi, and we shift it over by a quarter of a period, and so on.